Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Bricks Originals! And for this special episode, we will be featuring the LEGO compatible custom Extinct Bricks Originals Woolly Rhino or the Celadonta. But before we get a move on with the video, I'd like to say thanks to YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music! Please also like, share, and subscribe and also hit that notification button! Thanks! You may also follow me on my social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also in YouTube. I also have a Leica account, uh, which is only available here in the Philippines but will be global soon. Please also support my channel by not skipping on all the ads on my videos. Thanks everyone for all your support! The Get This PC Contest winners will be announced at the end of the video, but first, here's how you can join on the next video contest. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to see all my posts. I'll see you there! Oh, poor caveman. Well, anyways, let's move on with the making of the Woolly Rhinoceros. And as always, I start off with kit bashing, and this time I have several parts from the Raptor as well as the Stiggy Moloch. For some of the parts that needs bulking up, I actually use aluminum foil. This actually prevents it from getting wet other than using paper of course when uh, already starting with wet sanding. After kit bashing, I went on ahead with the pore sculpting and then primering the entire figure. So primer I use for this one is um, Boston number 68 in gray. Uh, for the base colors of this uh, woolly rhino, I actually use this uh, light colored brown as a uh, base color on all the parts of the body wherein there would be snow, um, snow on it. The top portions of the rhino will have a snowy um, color to it so I'm preparing a little bit of off-white for that one. The bottom sections of the uh, figure will be darker in fur so I prepared this chocolate brown for those parts as well. Of course, not every part of the rhinoceros will be covered in fur. So for those parts of the fur which is not covered in fur, I will be uh, coloring them into gray. So there will be different uh, shades of gray. Uh, for the face, it will be a lighter one. And for the legs, it would be a uh, darker colored gray. So a little bit of gray mixed with uh, some brown, I guess. For the horns, certain paleo artists actually um, depicted them as um, yellowish in color, so I'm doing that as well. The horns will also have this um, ring of um, uh, marks to it as it grows longer and longer or the rhino gets older, so I will be doing that as well. So I decided to have a gradient of yellow from uh, a dull yellow to a brighter yellow and then at the end of or the tips of the horns would be color brown. As mentioned earlier, I wanted the um, humps of the woolly rhino to have that uh, snowy feel to it so I'm putting in an off-white color on the hump as well as the back portion of this rhinoceros. The same color of white will be used for the speckles around it as well so that it will have that uh, uh, a little bit of transition to it. So speckles will be located on the neck, on the uh, upper torso of the rhinoceros as well as the back. Uh, 
Additional painting details such as colors of those in the eyes and the nails and so on is actually added. And that's it for our uh, making of the woolly rhinoceros. I hope you like it. Now it's time for us to move on with our next portion of the video, some bricks. You can do it and let's bolt in. Hello again, so for assembly bricks, let's count the number of parts we have uh, 7 parts to it. So let's start the same bricks. Let's connect the head to the body. Of course, the neck part of the body. And there you have it. Now let's connect the limbs. Let's start on the back side. That's the right and the left. Uh, back legs. Now let's connect the uh, four limbs. That's the left. And to finish it off, the right. And that's it for the woolly rhinoceros or Silodonta. Let's now have a closer look of the woolly rhinoceros. And JCL is back here to be introducing the woolly rhinoceros. It is his second video to be introducing one of my customs. So He's fairly excited for this one as well. The Silodonta or the Woolly Rhinoceros is actually based up from the photo above that you see here. This species of rhinoceros is mainly covered in fur that is probably why it's called the Woolly Rhinoceros. <laughs> okay, so let's move on with a closer look of this uh, Woolly Rhinoceros or it's also called the Silodonta. For the painting part, the top portions are actually covered in white, which represents snow, so I added a few speckles on the sides as well. The main or the most parts of it is colored brown uh, from different tones of dark to um, uh, lightly colored brown, which represents the fur of this uh, particular animal. The gray colors are actually those parts that are not covered in fur. As for articulation of this particular figure, you can actually move its neck up and down and also twist its head. This allows for more um, varied poses when it is actually running or it's eating or drinking. Okay, so the legs are also movable like so, so it can also be uh, posed in many different ways such as walking or um, galloping, things like that, things that most rhinos would actually do. The tail of this woolly rhinoceros is likewise made of rubber and can be posed as well. Yeah. And that's about it for the closer look on the woolly rhinoceros or the Silodonta. Now let's now move on with the size comparisons. And as usual, the size comparisons would include, of course, a comparison in sizes between the minifigure which is a GCL here and of course a comparison with my other creatures now comparing the size of the minifigures it is around the same size or the same proportion as that of the photos seen above Okay, so let's move the woolly rhinoceros far back so that we can uh, take a look at some of the earlier works that I've done so far for Mega Fauna. This is the Extinct Bricks Elasmotherium. And as you all know, the Elasmotherium is also an extinct species of rhinoceros uh, that lived or that have existed before and it has this uh, long uh, and large uh, horn to it. Just one at least. It is also known as the Winter Unicorn. Size-wise, you can see that the Elasmotherium is a little bit larger than that of the Silodonta or the Woolly Rhinoceros from the side as well as the front views. And on with our next comparison. This is the... Dun -dun -dun -dun, the American Macedon. So the Macedon is definitely larger than that of the um, woolly rhinoceros, but it's a different species this time. 
from the side you can see that the uh, mastodon is longer than that of the elasmotherium mainly because of its body as well as the length of its tusk. The next comparison would definitely be Manu, our extinct breaks woolly mammoth. Now the woolly mammoth here you can see that it's definitely taller than that of the woolly rhinoceros or the Silodonta. Seeing it from the side and even from the front views. It is also definitely longer than that of the woolly rhinoceros and also longer than that of the mastodon. Okay, so for the last comparison, this is also a rhino actually. So let's just adjust the camera accordingly so that it can be seen uh, on its full glory. So this is the extinct Prix Paraceratherium. It is the largest mammal or extinct mammal known that lived on land. So the Paraceratherium is definitely taller than that of the woolly rhinoceros and uh, even taller than that of the woolly mammoth. Okay, so let's bring them out all together for the Extinct Creek Species Roll Call. But before we do that, please check out the videos of all these creatures that I have here present in this video. If you also have suggestions on other species you'd like to see in my Megafauna collection, please um, write them down below and I'd be happy to read them out. Thanks everyone! Now let's start with our roll call. This is the Extinct Creek Paraceratherium. Extinct Prix Woolly Mammoth, Extinct Prix Mastodon, Extinct Prix Elasmotherium, and of course, the star of the show, this is the Extinct Prix Silodonta or Woolly Rhinoceros. It's almost end of the video, so it's time for us to have some last looks on the Woolly Rhino. The Woolly Rhino actually came from the two Greek words koilo meaning hollow and donti meaning tooth. Thus, it is known as the hollow tooth. It lived in the late Pliocene to late Pleistocene period around 3.6 to 0.01 million years ago and is part of the Rhinoceratidae family. It can grow up to a length of 2.5 feet, weight of 2,700 kilograms, and a height of 6.6 .6 feet. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yay, it's snowing outside and it's nice to see the Silodonta outside its cage. And that's it for the video on the woolly rhinoceros. I hope you like it as much as I did. It's now time for us to announce the guest SPC contest winners. And we have 10 lucky picks. And here they are. Samuel David Villacaba, Marco Perini, Victor Gabriel, Grebnadu, Eric Mondragon Valier, Brandon Cruz, Dinamosaurus Imperius, Febjin Vermalen, Big Al Waldron, and Mr. T-Rex. Congratulations everyone and our top 10 winners! Top 10! Timo Mado Top 9! Jorge Meros Top 8! Mandy Amar Top 7! Xiomara Piedad Perez Escobar Top 6! Durong Khan Top 5! Kenzo Gaming Channel Top 4! Maximum Power Top 3! Thorkognir Gunthier Top 2! Zaki P. Jurassic World Game. Congratulations, everyone! And I'll see you on our next Guess His PC contest. Also, our babies Moira and Asher has their own vlog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch their videos and support their channel as well by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar! Bye, everyone!